Well, hello, ladybugs. This is Sugar and Spice, and I just got through watching Beloved uh, video about danger. She's talking to Zaddy about him thinking about joining uh, the police department. Beloved, I got this message for you. Your son is a grown man. He's an adult. Now, I have adult sons also, and I never wanted my kids to get in any kind of occupation that will cause them damage or death or any kind of way. But I've never spoke uh, death to them. See, when I was young, I was taught that when you have bad dreams about anybody, before you talk, before you even eat, you're supposed to cast that stuff out in the name of Jesus. Concentrate on that more than, you know, harm is going to come to him. Never speak harm and danger on anybody that you love and people that you don't love. You know, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us sound mind. And that's the strength that we get from him, you know. You have to believe and trust in God. Now, in my own opinion, I don't believe your son is getting ready to join no uh, no police department or anything else. Number one, his health has got to be up to a certain standard before they even accept you in these different academies. But I come from a military family. And do you think that mothers, mothers like me, would actually want their children to serve in the military or the police department? No. But see, you know, you better be glad, sister, that there hasn't been a draft. Because if it ever comes down to that, you have, you won't have, you can pray and do all you want to do unless something happens to them physically that they will not be called into service. And it's an honorable thing to want to serve your country, you know, to protect what your ancestors have built up. And when I'm talking about ancestors, I'm talking about our black ancestors. I'm not talking about the, the Caucasian people at this moment, because we already know their history and what they have done. I'm talking about our history as black people. Now, I will pray for your son because you said you need prayer warriors, and I will. But I'm not just praying for him. I mean, he's not an elite. I mean, he's special to you because that's your son. But he's no more different from anybody else's child out here. You got other women that's got sons and you know, they don't have the platform that you got that can get on there and tell thousands of people to pray for my son or my daughters that they will always have a peaceful, you know, life. You're in La La Land, sister. There's no fairy tales around here. You know, when people got money, they feel like they can duck and dodge certain things. They think that their children are so special that they kids can, no harm and danger will come to them. Harm and danger comes to everyone. The sun shines on me just like it shines on you. The only difference is, you know, you, you got a platform that's bigger than mine. But other than that, I mean, I'm a human being just like you are. No difference. Your son is a human being just like any other woman's son out here. Whether they black, white, Spanish, or Asian, or wherever they come from in this world. We all love our children. We all want what's best for them. You know, we all think that they are privileged. We should, my kids shouldn't do this. Or my, I don't want this for my child. And I'm not coming down on you because of the way you feel. I mean, you're a mother. But let me tell you, sister, your son is not more important than my son. My son can get out there and can and and can protect not just this country. He protects us too. 
Now, I used to have in my mind that I didn't want my kids to fight for this country because of the way that these people did our people. You see what I'm saying? But I had to overcome that. I had to look at my, my sons as being men, men of substance, men of nobility, men of strength in character as well as in body. But whatever Zaddy decides to do with his life, even though you're his mother, you cannot make him do anything that he does not want to do. You, have, you don't have that power. You had that power over him when he was a child. But what you're doing now, you're putting fear in his heart. You don't put fear in your children's heart. You dreamt that he got shot and then you're going to prank it on YouTube? Are you serious? And I like you. I mean, I like you a lot. I like your family. I think your family is funny, you know. But... Don't bring those that, that kind of fear and to put fear in his in his heart. I mean, he could walk outside his his, his whatever it high rise or whatever they call it. He could walk out, out just outside. Somebody shoot him down. Cause you don't put the word out there. You sow the seed. Sometimes you gotta be careful what you say. And all content is not good content. I'm sorry. You know, your child is no more important than ours. And like I said, I don't want nothing bad to happen to your kids, just like I don't want nothing bad to happen to my kids. I don't want nothing bad to happen to the kids that's mother and fathers are homeless out here on the street that lives in a box or live in an alley. You know, I pray for their children also. Your, your child is not that. He's special to you. See, he's special to me because he's a human being. And I love people. But you have already put a curse on him. You dreamt that he got shot. And then you're going to bring it to YouTube? Even if you prayed about it, you still brought it out there. You, you brought it out your mouth, sister. You were supposed to pray to God and leave it there. Not pray to God and pick it up and then try to put fear in this young man's heart. Y'all, my phone is getting ready to cut off. I'm a little pissed off, but I love y'all. I love you. Bye.